What's up? I'm Troubleshoot. Welcome back to another video. In this quick guide, I'll be taking you through a security feature for Windows that affects your performance quite negatively. Recently on Linus Tech Tips or their Shorts channel, they talked about VBS and there are tons of articles such as on Tom's Hardware that talks about the VBS security feature resulting in up to 10% frame loss even on a 4090. Scrolling down on this article here, you'll find linked in the description down below, there's a few performance comparisons here that jumps up even to 15 or so positive FPS by disabling VBS. Pretty much all over the board, it's within margin of error when it's negative. Otherwise, there's a dramatic performance increase in a lot of other games here. So, assuming your PC doesn't leave home and you don't need these advanced security features, you've got an antivirus already, how do we go ahead and disable this VBS feature on Windows? If you want to see more information about what it does and whether you really need it, it's written down here. Effectively, they just say you don't really need it. So, how do we disable VBS? Well, what you need to do is hold start and press R and inside of here, type in msinfo32 and hit enter. This will open up system information. We'll scroll down and look for virtualization based security. If you see that it's currently running, VBS is enabled and currently running on your computer. How do we turn it off? Well, hit start, type in core isolation and open up the system settings here. This will take you to Windows security, then device security and core isolation here. When you get inside of this, simply turn off memory integrity at the very top here. You can already see mine is off. When you turn it off, you'll need to reboot your PC completely. And when you get back once more, try MSinfo32 and see if system information tells you that VBS is turned off. If you see that it's still on, like mine is, what you need to do is hold start and press R, then type in R-E-G-E-D-I-T, regedit. Open this, then we'll be navigating on this left-hand pane here. Expand H key local machine, then we'll expand system, current control set, control, and then device card that is here. We'll click on this instead of expanding it. Now you'll see some entries here. Right click, new, and select D word. Then for the name, you'll find it in the description down below. It's enable virtualization based security, capital E, V, B, and S, the first letter of each word. Then open it by double clicking on it or hitting enter and simply make sure that the value is set to zero. Click OK. You can close this. Now all you need to do is reboot your PC. Now at this point, if it's still running for you, checking MS config once more, you can see mine's still running. The reason is simply because you have the virtual machine platform installed on your computer. You can remove this should you wish, but it'll disable Hyper-V as well as other useful virtualization technologies that you could be using on your PC if you're a power user. If you've never used a virtual machine or don't want to anymore, hit start, type in features and open turn windows features on and off. Inside of here, you can scroll down and simply look for virtual machine platform. You'll need to turn this off completely. When you do turn this off, I'm pretty sure the sandbox, subsystem for Linux and Hyper-V will all start Stop working, though I'm not entirely sure. Please do let me know in the comments down below if I'm wrong. But anyways, that's really about it for this quick guide. Should you choose to disable it, probably it'll gain you quite a bit of extra performance, but do note it is a security feature that you are disabling. Once again, check the Tom's Hardware article linked in the description down below for more information should you wish to understand more about what's actually going on. Anyways, thank you all for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!